In this tutorial, we're going to set up some auto-focusing depth of field for the player camera. So to begin with, I'm going to open up my first person character blueprint, and I'm just going to drag out the first person camera onto the graph. And we're going to set up a simple line trace, so I'm going to drag this out and just type in get world location. I'm going to drag out from the get world location and just type in line trace. And I'm going to get line trace by channel, and that will connect to the start. We're going to drag out from the camera again and get the forward vector and we're going to multiply this by a float and the values we set here is going to set how far our line trace is going to shoot out into the world and we can add these two values together to get the end point for the trace and we just need something to fire this and what I'm going to do is just create a custom event let's try that again custom event and I'm going to call this update DOF and to fire this I'm going to get a begin play event and this is going to set a timer by function name and the function name is going to be whatever you've called your custom event mine is update DOF and the time is going to be 0 0.2 and I'm going to set it to looping so basically as soon as you start the game it's going to make this custom event fire every 0.2 seconds and just to make sure that we've got it working I'm going to drop down the draw debug type and choose for duration and now we have a way of visualizing exactly where our trace is hitting in the world. Okay, so that's great. We can now use this trace to generate a focus location for our depth of field. So let's proceed by dragging out the out hit on the line trace by channel and just type in break hit result and we'll grab that. And this will give us values and information of what we've hit in the world and one of these values is the location. So we're going to drag this out and just put in the minus symbol and we're going to subtract it by a vector. And the other vector we're going to input into this is going to be the first person camera again and we're going to get the world location. I'll connect that up in there. We're going to drag out the result and type in vector length and by doing this we actually grab the distance between these two locations. And now I'm going to just right click on the return value and promote it to a variable and call it focus location. Okay, we're going to drag out from here and just type in branch and the return value from the line trace is going to connect to the condition. And this is saying if we hit something in the world we're going to set this as the focus location. If we don't hit anything we're going to set the focus location to a value which is actually quite high to make it seem like the depth of field isn't actually being applied because we won't really want any depth of field if we're looking at the sky. Okay. Now all we need to do is set up the post-process effects for the camera. So we can drag out the camera once more. Let's just go to a, a, a nice empty space down here. I'm going to drag out from this and just type in set post-process settings. And from here I'm going to drag this out and just type in make post-process settings. And all of these are, are expanded for me. They might not be for you. I'm just going to collapse all of these. Okay, so on the depth of field we're going to drop that down. I'm going to override the depth of field method. I'm going to check method as well. And I'm going to override the f-stop and the f-stop again. And also the focus distance and the focus distance. Okay, I'm just going to expand this a bit. So we're going to override the depth of field method. We're going to choose the circle depth of field. And we're going to override the f-stop. And I'm just going to put a value of 1.25. Actually, I'm going to put a value of 1 to make it really obvious that the effect is working in the video and we're going to override the focal distance and the focal distance is going to be our focus location okay now we've done everything to get this working we just need to connect this up to the line trace event and we now have a auto focusing depth of field system uh, so jump in and give it a go actually before I jump in I'm just going to turn off the for duration on the line trace Okay. Now the gun's completely blurred out, but if you actually I'll just remove the the gun for the time being. Okay. So if I come up to this cube, we can see that the background is now out of focus. Let's try it on here. So if I focus on this cube, the background's out of focus. But if I look at the background, the cube in front of me has actually gone out of focus. So there we have it, a basic auto-focusing depth of field system. I hope this tutorial helps and thank you for checking it out.